Alright, time to play the stupid bird game. Alright, where, where the fuck are you? Boyfriend, boyfriend bird game. No, uh, Alright, somewhere here probably? No, those are there we are. There we are. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 I'm looking for, for, for something specific. This doesn't look right. I I don't know. Oh well. Wait. Th 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 that's not right at all. Oh no. Oh no. This 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 isn't the right game. They, this isn't the right game at all. Uh, I, I I'm here for the birds. This, this isn't birds. This isn't birds at all. Fuck! Hey everybody, it's me Ian here with the Blue Wizard Project. Um, doing my playthrough of Hot Tofu Boyfriend, or at least, well, all right. So let's get to the gist of it. Um, doing the same game as Jana and his wife. Um, obviously, I don't think you guys would want to see the same things over again. Uh, not very much fun. And honestly, the first video that he did, fantastic. I implore you, employ, implore, implore, I don't know. I can't speak. <coughs> implore. I don't know. That's not the right word. Um, but I highly suggest <laughs> that you go and watch that first video of Hatofu Boyfriend. It's, there's a reason it's the best watched, the most watched video on our channel. It's very amusing, very entertaining. And it's really fun to watch them uh, get through the game. So you're wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to obviously play the same game as I was requested to. But I have a very specific plan in mind with this game because I played it before. Uh, so I wanted to show off one of the uh, less um, achieved endings and how to get to there. I'm not really going to explain it. Just You can obviously see the choices I make along the way. Uh, just because I thought it would be funny. And obviously an alternative. So just consider this the... Uh, the the al alternate universe playthrough, um, obviously less entertaining because there's not me and somebody else, and I'm not going to have the fantastic voice acting, and I put the fantastic giant quotes that Jana and his wife have. Um, so I left. I started slightly before their first video ended, just because it's going to deviate from there, and that's where I figure is the best point to uh, to really kick it off. Uh, the big thing at this point is all I have done is go to the gym. <laughs> and I did track just like they did, but I've only gone to gym and I've skipped every other class because school's for nerds. Um, and just so you know, the character's name is Girl Chan Coon. Uh, <laughs> so now you get to see the adventures of Girl Chan Coon instead of. I can't even begin to pretend to how to pronounce the character that Jana made. Um, Obviously, I'm hoping to put this after theirs, so I'm not going to do the whole spiel for you about the Blue Wizard Project. Just want to say thank you to those who've been watching and continue to watch. Um, check out our Facebook for those who donated. Thanks a ton. And if you already donated and would be so kind, please pass this along to other people. Uh, the more people we get watching, the more donations we get, the more it helps out needy families in Central Ohio. Um, you know, with food. Hey, cat. So we're gonna continue here from here, right before I said, right before their first video ends with the uh, midterm exams, where I'm going to fail because I'm an idiot. The first barrier for all students who make it this far: the midterm exam. I'm getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. Kazuaki, Chan, yeah, Chan Kun. <laughs> yeah, see, my name's Girl Chan Kun. Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Y yes. Also, this the video says girl. 
No, not too. Mm, nope, sorry, you did badly. No. See, I don't have the, the, the good feminine voice to be Girl Chan here, so I'm not even going to try. I'm going to try harder next time, okay? I dis I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Spoilers, I'm not going to study more from now on. <laughs> I will never study. This is annoying. The stupid steam overlay staying in. Yeah, you can see my mouse. Today's a good day. Yeah, you see, because of the route I'm taking, it skipped like a month ahead. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... I'm gonna go to the infirmary. With this weirdo. You again, are you ill? Um, not exactly. Go away thing. <laughs> I love the music though. <laughs> then why are you here? I came here to skip class. I'm not even coming here to see you, weirdo. I wanted to skip class. Get out. <laughs> Kick down at this point. Should probably take my school life more seriously. I will also not be doing that. Today's elective day. What should I do? Yeah, see, my wisdom is one. My charisma is five. I don't need people to like me, and I don't need to be smart. I just need to be tough. A ten. Oh, going to the gym again. <coughs> Calisthenics. Ryota, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up? Don't believe. Does he have a chin? Do birds have chins? I feel like a failure. Girl leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Awesome. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. So you'll see I'm getting into the territory of their second video. Oh, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Oh, that pun. Your mother say healthy to make my stomach get better. Are you supposed to look at other people's? I don't really know. Okay. What should I wish for? I wish to conquer the world by force. <laughs> Rule the world with an iron fist. Oh, hello, is that you, Chan Kun? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful about this lady. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. Can it? The home, would you like me to walk you to your place? Um, yeah, every time you say that little jingle, it's a choice. No, thank you. I can take care of myself. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay up too late. Thanks, Teach. The Key Mania LLDX public playtest on today. Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. I feel like I have something in my throat. Today's an elective day! <laughs> You're gonna see a pattern coming in here really quickly. What should I attend? Spoilers! It's gonna be Jim. A rock dove is wiggling about on the surface of the water. Advancing to the forwards and or backwards. You can't swim, Ryota? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Good for you, Ryota. Girl leveled up. Fatality increased by five. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this game has multiple, multiple endings. And one really awesome ending, but you need to beat the game with all other endings. So I'm going to save here first. Yep. We got our final- we get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Spoilers, I did it. Cancun. Sir, you didn't do too badly, I think. Yes. You never mind, you did badly. No. Try harder next time. I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. As before, I will not. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. This isn't, this isn't Persona 5. 
This is going way too fast. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Oh yeah, join track. I think I said that. Munch, munch, munch. Is that a munch sound? Munch, munch, munch. Okasan looks excited. Not angry for it, but still. This is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. Munch, munch. They're good. Oh yeah, I think Jada saw this seat. <laughs> Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance on the ones he's eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna join in, because that sounds awesome. Those look pretty good. Munch munch. Yum. And so we devour two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. That doesn't seem healthy. At all. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hunter gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. This is me running. Run, 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 run. What? There's, there's a lot of questions about this picture. We'll just ignore that, though. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. Wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instincts. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! You notice I've been avoiding uh, the Malfoy and his brother, the drama, and his wife ended up with. Ah, yes, her. I don't know you, where'd you come from? A sparrow said victory, squitting up on my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. <laughs> also a lot of questions about this. How cute! You feel strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Pidgey Nation. I was out for a run and I got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good, kid. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess what? That's why my legs hurt. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Mm, yeah, two hour drive is a hell of a run. I like the cut of your gym. P uh, post in the messages if you know what a gym is. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Toshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Takoyaki is delicious, by the way. If you never had it, it's a little, like, little, uh, I'm trying to think of how to say this while making it sound like it's the balls of the octopus. They're a little, like, cooked octopus in ball form. It's really good. Uh, thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate I might got, get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul, kid. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Is it riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we put it along at a zombie's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house it was almost light out. Still a long time until the semester starts and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance? Since I have the chance? Since I have the chance? The chance? I don't know. I'll... Get a job. Don't want to be a lazy bum all summer. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. This is Persona 5. It was the cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at no. I 
Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called Urushara Kenzaburo. I'm the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Chan Kun Girl. <laughs> the girl Chan Kun <laughs> Chan Kun Girl is great. Um, give me one second. I, I'm going to get rid of this thing that I'm going to save first. There, there we go. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'll just edit out this part. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So, for some reason, I cannot get rid of the whole thing. I got rid of the name and the person who was there, but this sticks around. I don't know. It might be something weird with the way this game uh, full screens. Eh, it's not that huge of a deal. I'm playing it on Steam. What a twist. Right, anyway, I'm Chan Kun Girl. Welcome, Miss Girl. <laughs> Hadn't expected a human. Kenza Buro. Kenza Buro? Yeah. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. Well, that's awful kind of you. I believe you'll be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. What does that even mean? I should rely on you for the summer then, Miss Girl. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Girl. <laughs> Today's my first day working at Mr. Urohiro's Cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Girl. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come, now it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my how? Excuse me. That was my friend. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryota! Girl, what are you doing here? <laughs> a friend of yours, Miss Girl? Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit in. It in after my other job, but if you already got the position, then that's that. Uh, Mr. Ushira, can you use two people? Hmm, sadly my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should. So here's another touch. You'll start to see the branching off of, uh, off Jana. He gave the job to Riona, because he's a kind human being. Sometimes. Me? I'm going to do the job I was hired for. Um, I'm sorry, Ryota, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, girl. I've got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I'll be here if you're looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, girl. I almost open any time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Y'all get a new girl, a human, y'all, a uh, dude, I don't even know, a Bud Grigar? I don't even know. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome. Would you like a bath? Or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Ushira. I'll take Kenza Boro. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yeah, it's a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. I guess this is Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Girl, regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Is that cafe? Coffee? Caf Does she mean to say coffee addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent. Oh, he has a Kansai accent. Since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true, and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Girl, right? I see there's my private property. Y'all remember that now. A new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. <sighs> I shall make some coffee to celebrate. 
Please, sit down, both of you. So the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Yes. Yes, I am. I stayed out of the town for too long and it's late. On my, way of on my own, of course. Riding the stormy ways of life alone in what is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. <laughs> uh, I just want you to just take that in. Just, just take that in. Just, for, yes, it's it's fantastic. What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkept unkempt pigeons. You go to seek Pidgeot nations, don't you? I bet a rich little like, girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? <laughs> rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. <sighs> Darn it, I, I can't tell them apart, racist. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves I've just met all look the same. Do some business with me, if not, go away. Punk <laughs> Instead of pigeon. Punction. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash? They buff up their chest threateningly. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little. They're angry now. My hunter gatherer instinct can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on one. Can I win this? Slam. Thud. The work of a moment. Some birdie flirts forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. They're sending tweets out. Talk about how mean she is. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Her! Azami! That was close, girl. Are you sure you should be out this late? See, I feel like everyone's talking down to me, like, Hey, girl, you shouldn't be here. What the f- Who are you? Me? Well... I'm a passing takoyaki lady. But I didn't say that right. I'm a passing takoyaki lady. Does it matter that being said, like the way the teacher in Full Metal Alchemist says that she's just an innocent housewife? Ta takoyaki, don't screw with us. They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not gonna take this from a finch and a human. Take this. Yeah. Not done yet. I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow Kick. So cool. Your Sparrow Kick is super cool, Zami. Don't like us yet. This is where the real fight starts. It'd be great if this turned into a fighting game. A zombie fluttering randomly under the glow of the neon lights and me gleefully punching the daylights out of the pit punk gyms. Fighting back to back. Now that's trust. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. So we just beat up a bunch of pigeons. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna invite Ryota. Thanks for inviting me, girl. Come on, let's go. So many boosts. How are you supposed to choose? Use your hunter gather instincts, girl. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. Well, thanks, buddy. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. So then why don't we just buy our own at that point? Yakitori sounds right, good right about now. Yakitori is good. So I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. Time sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all around, Kenzaburo. Oh. Hey girl. Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day. Gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. See you all around. Good day to you, Rabu. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, girl? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any ton- I don't even know what that is. Tonjiru? Left? Of course. Here you are. Soup? That's a great picture, by the way. Mmm. Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best. By the way, Mr. Urushira. Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. 
He likes to come here to relax before work. A boot of uh, the word who works at night. There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the time to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't met another haven't I met another careful driver recently? I have. Dun 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 One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Girl. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. U Ushihara. Urushira. Man, I'm, I'm just butchering his name. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss Girl is a student and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. How eloquently put, Mr. Bird. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. <laughs> dash. Carrot. Circle carrot dash. Ugu. <laughs> Doing the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely here without you, girl. At least Kanzaburo ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. You're all welcome. Oh, hey, it's my friend, Azami. Azami, you came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege. 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 <laughs> Now, can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. Yay! Have a seat, please. Uh, Azami, is that you? <gasps> Gasp. Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. I'm gonna save here. And totally interrupt the flow of the story. Do you know each other? You might say that. You just appear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? A zombie eye. Let's imagine a handsome bird, handsome Squidward face, but what a bird. A zombie eye. How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him any moment. Um, a zombie. I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? The twist. I remember your sexy raptors. <laughs> you used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Kosokawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. While we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. We all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. Well, when you ride, you ride on the inside. You are pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul, as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero! But a hero doesn't run away. And you did. As soon as I confess to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales. On to the love story. Asami, I can tell I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Urush Urushihara. Urushihara was exactly as he was when it all started. Solely polishing glasses behind the counter. I'd like to see that. So Mr. Rabu used So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang, and his real fake name is also Kawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. It does! Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? 
Will you listen to me, Azami? A little late for that. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like Mr. Fava Bean. Mr. Fava Bean. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It fits so well. I don't like fat man. All my love for you burned up long ago. A zombie subjects Mr. Foster Bean. Foster Bava Bean. To a Harley Tira Tira Tira. Man, I cannot speak today over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? I should bring up. Ah, the moment of truth. Do I bring up her scooter, which had the mysterious name on it? Or do I bring up her awesome fighting skills? Fighting skills. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, girl? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? You practice your elegant kicking technique every day, right? You're preparing a special move for your reunion with him, right? Kicks? You're right, I have. Grit your teeth, Mr. Fava Bean. You'll regret dumping me until the day you die. Womp thud. And so the Oasis is a soothing parakeetude, which has formed into a scene of avian fury. The wrath of God falling to earth in the guise of Sparrow's legs. I'll decimate my summer homework with the force of a raging bull. So I'll do a tenth of it. Next up is the individual research project. I want to research something that will only take one day, but I don't really have any ideas. Anyway, I'll take a stroll around town and see if I can find an interesting topic. Huh? Sitting in front of a used bike shop is... Azami! Oh, it's you. Kids like you should head home and get some sleep already. Why is it Zombie supposed to be like uh, early 20s? Azami, were you crying? What are you talking about? Don't make fun of me. Sorry, but as your protege, I really am worried about you. Making my half grown protege worry. I must be losing my edge. When I look around, her trademark pink scooter is nowhere to be seen. And she came out of the used bike shop, which means. No way! Did you sell your bike? If you're having second thoughts, I'll go take it back for you. Nah, it's fine. This is my way of ending things. And now that it's over, I'll look to the future. That is the way of the sparrow. The way of the sparrow. That sounds pretty cool. Goodbye, Mr. Fava Bean. It's time for me to move on. Hey, you there. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's these guys again. Punk Jin. You were the guys who picked a fight with my cute followers, huh? Get them, bro. Get them. It's the gang of bad birdies from before. <laughs> So you brought your friends, chicks like you should be at home, washing their beaks and getting ready for bed. Don't look down on us, we brought our best fighters to pay you back. You better be ready. These doves are strong. Getting up on her isn't fair, you punctions. A zombie, I'll help too. Punctions come at us one after another. In just an instant, the nighttime city comes one a violent battle. A zombie lays the smack down with a magnificent sparrow kick. And I pulverize everything in my fist of fury. We're at a huge disadvantage, but Zombie and I pull through and live to see the dawn. Hey, I always thought you were something special, but he's gotten pretty strong. No, I still have a long ways to go. No, you're already a true sparrow. I I'm a sparrow? What do you mean, Azami? I'm 100% human. You know, nobody's born a sparrow. If you overcome obstacles and suffer hardships, you still always move forward. That's what makes some birdie a sparrow. Your kindness, your strength. Your way of life. Everything about you screams Sparrow. From this day forth, hold your head high and call yourself a Sparrow. A zombie. I, I am a Sparrow. Sparrow Girl Chan Coon. <laughs> and no punk Chan is a match for me. I feel it in my bones. I can trust you. If we're together, there's nothing we can't do. I'll be counting on you, kid. Yeah. A zombie and I formed a new all girl delinquent gang. Only our souls run wild. A wild birds and body. Into that noble spirit as we drove through the night, never once breaking any traffic law. And so we became legends of the Midnight Roads. <laughs> and that, my friends, is my playthrough of a Tofu Boyfriend. <laughs> so we became part of an all girl biker gang. All in all, pretty awesome way to end things. <laughs> 
like I said, this is a game that requires multiple, multiple playthroughs, uh, obviously to get all the different guys and endings. Um, but I was just doing this one as kind of a uh, alternate universe playthrough of Janna's. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> um, and got to see some pretty amusing stuff and an ending that not pretty commonly gotten, uh, at least in your first few times. Um, I think it's a good way to end. It's a pretty positive note. I'm going to take it. Take that as a win. Take that W. Yeah, see, that's ending number 13 to breathe a true Java Sparrow. And I got achievement. Huzzah. And you see, I think Gallery will show you, yeah, like a thing for each of the endings. See? 12. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot. We're gonna get out of here. I think that's interesting to see. Nope. At least not on this one. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, please continue watching Jana and his wife's playthrough of Hatoku Boyfriend. And, let's, you know, I'm very interested to see what I think they end up going with. Um, I hope this little uh, side story didn't distract you too much, and it wasn't too much of a pain for any of you guys. I apologize that it wasn't someone else to do some awesome voice acting, and my voice is kind of annoying, so thanks for putting up with it. Hope, I, hope you guys have a great one.